guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, we are going to do a product review on the brand new release from Kevin Aquan. These are the Kevin Aquan Neo Blushes. In this video, I will show you some swatches of the blushes that I bought, as well as let you know my thoughts and if it is worth your money. If you guys are new here, hello, my name is Jenna Fraze. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking out this video today. I do two beauty videos a week that are all about high-end and luxury beauty products, so if you're just as passionate about that as I am, I'm sure we get along great. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well as don't forget to hit that little bell so you can be notified when I post my future videos. Now that all that is out of the way guys, let's get on to this review. The outer packaging of these Kevin Aquan blushes is definitely gorgeous and elegant. I love that there is a nice deep purple gradient to the outer packaging. When you open the product itself, you will see a generous size mirror on the lid as well as the blush shade in the pan itself. These blushes are available on Kevin Aquan's website as well as on Sephora right now and they retail for 38 American American dollars or 48 Canadian dollars each. Kevin Aquan has released four shades. I picked up two of the four, so I will swatch and show you the ones that I bought and I'll insert pictures of the other two that I did not buy. The first blush that I bought is called Pink Sand. This is a soft, dusty pink. It is absolutely stunning. When you check out the blush itself, it has a nice color gradient in the pan from a pale pink all the way to a pale peach. You can use each side separately as two different colors or you can swirl them together to get a combined color, all of which are gorgeous. The next shade I bought is called Rose Cliff. This is a golden rose blush color. As you can see, this gradient is stunning. It starts with a beautiful gold shimmer and then it progresses to a deep pink on the other side. Just like the soft sand, you can use one end or the other as your blush or you can swirl them together as well to get a beautiful combined color look, which is also gorgeous. When it comes to the formula themselves, guys, these are very soft and buttery. I do enjoy them very much. When I apply them, on the skin, they feel very lightweight. They blend out very well as well, which is also great. The one downside I'm going to let you know is that the pigmentation is definitely strong. The good thing is that of course you've got that color payoff, but the bad thing is that you need to make sure you're using a light hand in that pan. They are definitely blendable on the cheek, but if you do put too much product on your cheek, it's a little bit harder to take away than it is to add more. Another thing I absolutely love about this blush is that there are three different finishes that are blended together in this one, which is really cool. The three finishes are pearl, matte, and satin. And together, Kevin Aquan says they really create a multi-dimensional kind of look. And I would 100% agree with that. This is actually the first product that I picked up from Kevin Aquan's line. I'm super excited to try the other ones that he offers because these blushes are super amazing. I highly recommend them. Anyways, guys, those are my quick thoughts on the Kevin Aquan Neo blushes. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to let me know by giving it a big thumbs up, as well as don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And until my next video, guys, take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.